COVID-19, caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus, was first identified in December 2019 in Wuhan, Hubei Province, China. The outbreak initially came to global attention when cases of a mysterious pneumonia-like illness began appearing, and by January 2020, researchers had identified the novel coronavirus as the cause. COVID-19 primarily spreads through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs, sneezes, talks, or breathes near others. These droplets can be inhaled into the lungs of those nearby. The virus can also spread by touching a surface or object that has the virus on it and then touching the mouth, nose, or possibly eyes, although this is not thought to be the main way the virus spreads. In addition to these routes, COVID-19 can also be transmitted through aerosols, which are smaller droplets that can linger in the air over longer distances and times, especially in enclosed spaces with poor ventilation. This airborne transmission makes crowded and inadequately ventilated indoor environments more risky. The risk of infection can be reduced through measures such as physical distancing, wearing masks, hand hygiene, and ensuring good ventilation. COVID-19 symptoms range from mild to severe and can manifest in various ways. Commonly, individuals may experience fever or chills and a persistent cough. Difficulty breathing or shortness of breath is also a notable symptom especially in more severe cases. Many report feeling unusually tired, alongside experiencing body aches or muscle pain. Other symptoms include headaches, a sore throat, and congestion or a runny nose. A distinctive symptom of COVID-19, which differentiates it from similar respiratory illnesses, is the sudden loss of taste or smell. Additionally, some people may experience digestive issues like nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. These symptoms generally appear 2-14 days after exposure to the virus. Not all infected individuals will show symptoms. Some remain asymptomatic but can still spread the virus. People with these symptoms, especially if they worsen or are combined with breathing difficulties, should seek medical attention and consider testing for COVID-19 to confirm infection and prevent spread. Treating COVID-19 effectively involves managing symptoms and supporting the body's immune response, with approaches varying based on the severity of the illness. For those with mild symptoms, treatment primarily focuses on self-care at home. This includes ample rest to help the body fight the infection, staying well hydrated, and using over-the-counter medications such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen to reduce fever and alleviate body aches. Patients are advised to monitor their symptoms closely, maintain communication with their healthcare provider, and isolate themselves to prevent spreading the virus to others. In more severe cases, where patients experience significant respiratory difficulty, hospitalization may be necessary. Treatment in these instances can include oxygen therapy to aid breathing and the use of medications such as antivirals or steroids to manage inflammation or viral activity. Some patients might also require support for other affected organ systems. The most critical cases of COVID-19 may necessitate intensive care, including mechanical ventilation or ECMO, extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, to support lung function and circulate oxygen in the blood when the lungs are severely compromised. Alongside direct treatment of symptoms, preventive measures play a crucial role in managing the pandemic. This includes the widespread use of COVID-19 vaccines, which have been instrumental in reducing the severity of disease and mortality rates. Adhering to public health guidelines such as mask wearing, especially in crowded or indoor environments, and maintaining hand hygiene are also vital in curbing the spread of the virus. Treatment protocols continue to evolve as more is learned about the virus and as new treatments are developed and approved. It's important for both healthcare providers and patients to stay informed about the latest recommendations from health authorities such as the World Health Organization, WHO, or local health departments to ensure the most effective and up-to-date treatment strategies are employed.